dear friends, colleagues, members of the Congress, I'm very happy to give my message to you after 30 years of the establishing of our important Congress. The Euro-Asian Jewish Congress, it's important part of life of the Jewish diaspora in many countries in the region that we are responsible for. So 23 countries, 23 branches, and many, many people like you, which are dealing, helping, assisting, and caring about the life of the Jewish people in their territories. It's not so simple to be involved, to devote time, energy, hard work for the cause of other people. And of course, in these days, when the world is not so peacefully and the world is not stable like it used to be, so, with all my heart, I want to wish you the best of all. I want to wish you great health. I want to wish you to continue to do as much as you can, each one in his place, to help others to revive Jewish life, to be in contact with ourselves, with our partners, which we are so much doing together in cooperation with organizations like Limud, like Hillel, like Taglit, like Karen Ayesod and Karen Kayemet, Yad Vashem, Sefer and many others. So please, in cooperation, together, all together, we are much stronger. And thank you very, very much for all of you. I wish our next 30 years to be easier and better. All the very best to you. Dear Mikhail Mikhailovich Mirilashvili and all our friends and partners in the Euro-Asian Jewish Congress, on behalf of Karen Kayemet Li Israel, Jewish National Fund Worldwide Leadership and our executive staff, we are privileged to congratulate you with this important occasion of 30 years of blessed activities of Euro-Asian Jewish Congress. It is a special honor for us at Karen Kaimit Israel to work with the Euro-Asian Jewish Congress in saving lives together. The security roads which we are paving due to partnership with you are saving lives of our residents in the Gaza envelope communities in Nir Am and in other communities around the Gaza Strip. We deeply appreciate your partnership with us in building and installing 10 mobile bomb shelters which save lives of our citizens in the south of Israel. We at Karen Kaimet Li Israel, we feel your partnership, we feel your work, we know what you do for the Jewish people, for the state of Israel every day and we appreciate it so much and wishing you many, many years together of joint work, joint activities for the sake of our country and our people. Thank you so much. Shalom, dear friends. On behalf of Karen Aisod, United Israel Appeal, I want to wish a congratulations to the Euro-Asian Jewish Congress on its 30th anniversary. And I want to say thank you for the tremendous cooperation between our two organizations. And I also want to recognize and thank my dear friend, Michael Miralashvili, who I have known for many, many years. Michael, you are a true leader. You are committed, dedicated, and you give generously and care so much about Israel and the Jewish people. Tamshich Michael Echayel, you should go from strength to strength. Congratulations and thank you. Shalom from Yad Vashem in the Mount of Remembrance in Yerushalayim. I want to congratulate the Eurasian Jewish Congress for their conference. The bonds, the links between Yad Vashem and the Eurasian Jewish 
Congress are deep and long. Uh, we are proud to have here uh, in Yad Vashem a center in our research institute that concentrates in the Shoah in the former Soviet Union that bears the name of Moshe Mirelashvili. Uh, I myself, uh, I am an Ole. I came to Israel in 1971 from South America and during those days they started the Aliyah from uh, Euro-Asian countries. So we share in this sense a deep uh, denom common denominator of uh, coming to Israel in those days between the Six Day War and the Yom Kippur War, days of a very different uh, state of Israel. I want to congratulate personally my good friend, Dr. Mikhail Mirilashvili, the president of your institution, whose dedication to the Shoah remembrance and to Yad Vashem in particular is amazing. I am proud to call him a friend. I want to thank uh, Aaron Frankel, the chairman of the board, Dr. Chaim Ben Yaakov, the executive director, and the entire members of the Eurasian Jewish Congress that uh, con let continue to do an amazing work in order to promote the strengthen the Jewish people there, here, and elsewhere. Good evening, everyone. Shalom. It is a great pleasure and honor to be here with you to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Aero Asian Congress. You know that Taglit that has brought over to Israel tens of thousands of Russian speakers since it was established is a in great partnership with the Congress. The partnership started in 2017 under the leadership of the President Mikhail Mirashvili. I would like to thank you, Mikhail, for being the leader on this partnership. Through your leadership, we have managed to send so many participants to Israel and to change and increase their Jewish identity, their relationships to Israel, and to be committed to Jewish life in the Russian-speaking countries. And this is thanks to you. And I'm proud to be a partner of the Congress. You know that only last summer we had 1,600 participants coming from the former Soviet Union. 1,600. Yesterday, the last two groups left the country after fulfilling their 10-day trip to Israel. And we would like to send more. We would like to change more. We would like to impact more together with the Congress because this is the future of our people and we are committed to this partnership. And I would like to thank you so much for being in that with us. Taglit on one hand, the Congress on the other hand. Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>